So, something I want to point out here. I don't know if you can tell, but the land slopes to my left that way. And this is very wet still. It means there's a lot of runoff that comes in here. But um, what I wanted to point out is this little like tenth of a mile is much cooler and more humid than the rest of the trail was. And that's what makes permaculture interesting in the city environment is when you create more greenery in the right kind. Like this is not very dense vegetation. It's really not. I mean, this forest is pretty sparse. I expected a lot more. Um, but anyway, when you're in a city environment, you have spaces like this. You can use them. I mean, there are acres and acres here that could be used, even all the tiny spaces in between in a city. Every little bit of plant matter puts more moisture in the ground, which has a dramatic effect on temperatures. Just watched a video from PBS and um, PBS Terra, I think it was. But the whole episode was about how we can deal with heat domes and increasing temperatures. And to my surprise, the last two minutes of the video, they met a permaculture specialist from Arizona who is coming up some, with some really cool ideas that I could implement here and could be implemented anywhere if we can get people to listen. Have a great day.